What's wrong, buddy? Can I help you? Do you want food? Is that what you're going on about? Yeah, I'm guessing so. It's the only thing you ever want from me anymore. Hi guys, Julian is playing Portal two. One, two, two. Jacob and I are here working on um, our wedding Yay. web page for the first time. We're going through the knot.com because that was what seemed the least sketchy of creating websites for your wedding. And Jacob's doing the about us because I figured he should do it. You look just. I'm enthused. There's one thing I'm terrible at, and it's writing about news sections. So you want me to do it for you? Well, let me in a can. I'm gonna put down what I what I did, and you can no doubt edit it to crap. Okay. Well, Jacob left to go do some stuff. Um, Jamie's boyfriend Ethan is doing a reading of a play that he wrote at his house. So Jacob wanted to go do that, and I decided to stay here to work on some wedding stuff because I have not worked on anything in such a long time, and I need to work on stuff. Um, and so I'm gonna start designing some candles that I'm gonna do for the wedding. Um, and we opened up another area in um, our kitchen, or in our bathroom, so that we can have a little more storage space, which is nice because now I can actually like make stuff. Because part, part of my like reason for not making anything is because I didn't have anywhere to put it all. So now that I've got somewhere to like store things that are done, I can actually start doing things, which is nice. So here we go. I'm dying right now. I just <coughs> breathed in a little bit of Dr. Pepper. Um, I just wanted you guys <coughs> to see some of these. I posted them on Instagram um, so you guys can look on my Instagram page. But um, I made some stuff for the wedding, some more stuff. I made um, a Winnie the Pooh candle, um, Honey Mansion cup, two of them. Then I made some for Little Mermaid. And then I made a Daisy Donald one. I really like the Daisy Donald and um, the Winnie the Pooh one. I love the Haunted Mansion ones too, but those are my favorite ones. Aren't they so cute? But yeah, you can look on Instagram and there's a better picture. And then right now, I don't know if I'm actually going to keep it. This is just like an extra piece that I had, an extra uh, candle that I had. I'm considering doing like a Beauty and the Beast one. Oh, you can't even see it. I'm pointing at Yahoo. Um, and I've got these little red roses, so pink roses. So I'm thinking about like, you know, attaching them. I am still deciding like if I put these all on, like, I don't know if this is actually going to happen. It's just a concept right now that may or may not happen. I don't like how it looks. It's a little sloppy looking, doesn't it? It looks it looks a little like a little five year old. So I don't know. I probably am not going to keep that. But it's a it's a thing, you know, that might happen. I'm taking a little break right now to eat some food. Um, I made a pizza for myself because Julian had a pizza earlier and it made me want pizza. But I've been um, adding glitter to some stuff. This is for the little mermaid table. So I've got some glittery things, and that's my little, my little Sebastian. And I'm thinking, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys already. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I don't really remember. Um, I, I want to do a Doctor Who crossover. This sounds familiar to me, like I said this to you. Um, I want to do a Doctor Who crossover. I just posted the picture. Um, this is something that I'm considering keeping. This is for the Beauty and the Beast table because, you know, there's roses and then Rose Tyler is the bad wolf. So this is something that I'm considering. If I already mentioned this, it's going to get edited out. But I just want to show you guys that um, I'm thinking about doing Doctor Who crossover stuff into all the tables and just really subtle stuff. I posted about it on Tumblr a little bit ago. Maybe that's why this sounds familiar to me. <clears throat> so like, you know, there's that. And then the Winnie the Pooh table would have, um, like, shadows for Silence in the Library. And maybe one of them would have, like, two shadows. And then, or possibly um, having the book written by Agatha Christie, what is it? It's uh, Death in the Clouds or Murder in the Clouds, something like that. Because um, the wasp is, um, the, the um, unicorn and the wasp was an episode. And the honeybees are important in Winnie the Pooh, slightly important. So it's just like subtle references to Doctor Who like crossing over stuff. Um, and then a real talk, like do you guys think that's a, a good idea or do you think that's too much? People on Tumblr are saying it's a cool idea and they like it. So um, let me know what you think because it's important to me what you guys think too. 
Um, and I know some of you guys follow me on Tumblr and some of you guys don't, so for those of you who don't, it's important to me to know what you guys think. Um, Jacob's indifferent on it. He's just like, you know, do whatever. <laughs> and that's kind of how he's been the whole time. Um, and I'm watching Doctor, uh, not Doctor, I'm watching uh, The Walking Dead right now while I eat. I'm getting close to the end of season three and I'm not sure if I'm gonna like go through and watch season four because I know some of it's already up on the internet I think. I'm not sure if I'll go through and watch it um, or maybe I'll just wait till it's on Netflix but it's starting to get crazy there. I think they're gonna give Michonne to the governor and that makes me unhappy because she's such a cool character and it's Rick's getting cray cray. More cray than he's been before. And Jacob's still not home. It's 9.30. I'm surprised he's not back yet. I, I thought this was only going to go for like two hours. But whatever. Well, that ended up being a lot more of an emotional episode than I thought it would be. And I didn't think that Merle would go out that way. So for any of you guys who have seen The Walking Dead season, all the way up to season three, I was not expecting Merle to have any kind of change of character. And I thought he was just going to be an asshole forever. And he ended up doing something good in his last hours of life. I mean, he could have done better, but he did real good for what he did. I don't know. That was kind of sad. It was a lot more emotional than I thought. I never liked Merle as a character, and now that he's gone, I feel bad because he, like, redeemed himself at the end. I don't know. Alright, guys. Well, it's definitely bedtime now. Um... <laughs> Time to turn off the things. Look how cute your character is. Oh, talk to her real quick. And then bedtime. You want to train for your polka dots? You gonna train? I'm just trying to make them happy so that I can do <laughs> shit. Okay. All right, guys. Well, it's bedtime. Good night. Bye. Come on, see <laughs>